Here is how you're going to find the tension in these ropes that are supporting this rod and mass. So you start out by establishing a pivot point. A nice pivot point to use would be right where the red rope contacts with the rod. This will eliminate that rope's torque from our expression. So what we do first is we find the forces from the rod and the force from the mass that is on the rod. You do this by simply taking the mass of the rod times 9.8 and the mass of the object also multiplied by 9.8. Then from there you find the torques that each of these create. And hopefully it is clear that the rod and the ball are both creating clockwise torques. You find this by taking the distance to the force multiplied by the force. When you're doing the distance to the uh, force from the rod, make sure you use half the length of the rod. Because the rod is uniform, the center of mass should be right in the center. Okay, so you get the torque from the rod, you get the torque from the ball, and you add those two together. That will be your total clockwise torque. The rope will have a tension being applied to the rod. That tension is creating a counterclockwise torque. That counterclockwise torque should be equal to the torques clockwise from the rod and the ball. So you just solve for the force tension from the green rope. Once you got your force tension from the green rope, you should realize that the total upward force from the tension you just found and the tension on the red rope have to be equivalent to the two downward forces. So you take your two downward forces and add them together and they must equal the two upward forces. Since you already know one of the upward forces, finding the second one should not be hard.